Hello everyone, welcome back to Substance TV. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. So guys, what we have on our plate here is Sonia on Netflix for Funke Akindele's production. So guys, a lot of people know who Funke Akindele is, while some do not know who Funke Akindele is. So for the benefit of those who do not know who Funke Akindele is, Funke Akindele is a big Nollywood producer, an actor and a director. She has backed so many awards with her talent and her movies and her movies has the highest grossing Nigerian movie of all times, each surpassing 600 million naira in revenue. A tribe called Judah, one of her production, one of her movie production broke the box office record within 21 days of its release in the cinema to become the first Nollywood film to gross 1 billion naira. Guys, Funke Akidele is game in this movie production. The list of her films are Battle on Buka Street, Omogeto the Saga, She Must Be Obeyed and A Tribe Called Judah. Funke Akidele is also the writer and the producer of Jennifer's Diary, the trending comic movie of Nollywood that can never lose its value. Jennifer's Diary basically catapulted Funke Akidele, also known as Jennifer, to limelight and she gained a huge number of fan base for herself. She also had a humble beginning, she was never this big. She had her down times and she fought to be relevant in Nollywood. Most of her movies are seen in the cinema and on Netflix. Funke Akidele is really big in movie production and she is basically known for her comedy roles. So guys, Funke Akidele is so diverse and we also have Sonia Uche who matches her energy when it comes to comic movies. So guys, I came across a tweet that triggered this video and the person says, Maureen Sam and Sonia Uche are Nollywood blockbuster material. Why haven't they been seen in Netflix through Prime films yet? They deserve to be on the big screen. They have range as actors. And not only Netflix and Prime video guys, we also have cinemas. So guys, this particular question, why haven't we seen Maureen Sam and Sonia Uche, basically caught my attention. And I thought of it. Sonia Uche is talented. She can act any role given to her. She's as diverse as Funke Akizele is. And she is literally one of the leading actresses on YouTube movies. Okay, she's basically dominating YouTube movies. Okay, but we have not seen her on the big screen because she hasn't been given such opportunity so when i say sonia uche on netflix for funke akidele i am literally calling out funke akidele because she has the power to change that and it won't be difficult for funke akidele because they are both in the same line of business and sonia uche is a very talented actress I am basically calling on Funke Akizele because she's one particular actress I admire a lot in the industry, okay? I admire her strength and how committed she is to her work, okay? She's a woman that young talents should look up to, okay? So when we have Funke Akizele feature Sonia Uche in her films, it goes beyond just casting decision. Yeah, it becomes an act of supporting and promoting talented individuals within the Nigerian film industry. So yeah, we have lots of talented actors and actresses that basically do not have that opportunity to film in the big screen. Not that they are not good, but because there are a particular set of people that are often used in the big screen. Others are not given the opportunity to explore their talent, okay? So by giving opportunities to actors like Sonia, who has acted in YouTube movies only, Funke Akidele will be actively contributing to the growth and the diversity of talent in the industry, okay? And this will basically send message to other filmmakers and producers that there is value in recognizing and nurturing talent from various backgrounds and platform, okay? Aside from that, featuring Sonia Uche in an Akindele's project can also bring a breath of fresh air to her projects. Okay, where we have she coming in with another kind of character different from the usual, okay? It's just like introducing a new dimension and dynamics to a character, okay? Everyone has different way of delivering a particular character, okay? So, having Sonia Uche can actually add depth, complexity, or sense of realism to that character or narrative that would basically keep the audience emotionally connected to the story, okay? So, adding a new talent or Sonia Uche can actually bring a sense of quality to a particular movie. 
Lastly, casting Sonia Uche in Ifunke Akdele's production could attract another set of audience, okay? We all know that Funke Akitele has a wide range of audiences, but Sonia Uche fan base from YouTube would be so excited, I would want to follow her to the big screen to see the movie, thereby increasing the viewership and the box office success of Funke Akitele, okay? Everyone knows how much Sonia Uche gathers a lot of fan base, okay? And majority of the people on YouTube might not even have the time to go to the cinema to watch most of the movies there, okay? But when we see that, our Faith is in such projects, a lot will be willing to go see the movie to see how she would perform on the big screen, okay? Everybody will be so excited to go watch her. Everybody wants to know the kind of character she would play in the movie. There will be a lot of eagerness to go support her, okay? So by doing that, Funke Akizele will be supporting and promoting talented individuals within the industry, okay? And this could foster a sense of community and empowerment among actors and filmmakers, strengthening the Nigerian film industry as a whole, okay? Casting Sonia Uche in her movies would not only benefit Akindele by enhancing the quality and appeal of her movie, but also give Sonia Uche the platform she deserves to showcase her talent on the big screen, okay? It is just like a win-win situation. And this is not only about Sonia Uche. We also have lots of actors, talented actors like Maureen Sam. You know, lots of them there that really need to be in the big screen. So if those people can have the opportunity to be in the big screen, trust me guys, it will be a very good way of supporting talented individuals in the Nollywood industry, okay? So guys, that is basically all for today's video. Thank you so very much, guys. Please, let's all do well to like the video and share the video so everybody can see the good, talented actors actors and actresses we have okay giving them the platform to showcase their talent so guys thank you so very much share the video like the video and subscribe to substance tv see you all in my next video until then stay splendid